a lot of my content is driven from things around me, people I see, people I meet, my experiences. Dublin is almost like the source of my inspiration and you know a lot of things have happened before I've, I've been here you know there's been a lot of Dublins if you, if you get me so looking at people like Daniel, Daniel O'Connell, James Connolly, different people that have done things for Ireland really and then trying to do work that's relating to them but in a current style so you know maybe like younger kids would see it and it would be, sort of have a pop art more contemporary feel and that would draw them in and then would hopefully then let them, if they had the interest, to investigate and find out who that is. So same with Anne Devlin. I painted a portrait of her just down off Mead Street there in the Liberties. J.O., the artist, does this project called Unframed, and uh, he uses it for different cities that he visits, and it's, it's the use of archival images. And I said, well, 100 years ago to the year, there's the 1913 lockout. There's a dispute that happened, and, gave him some information on that and then he came back with this image. It was an image of workers down at the docks waiting for um, food supply ships from England to come in. And I was just like, well, that's, that's perfect. My background would be, I was doing graffiti. That is a way of describing that would be abstract typography. It's taking letter forms and then skewing them into a way of expressing yourself. You know, it's sort of hard to explain it, but you would, you know, manipulate letters, their shapes, colors. Yeah, with like the Day or Us project that was based on really, you know, appreciation where you're from, its history. It was like just a homage to all sign writing really of Dublin. I know when you go through town you have to take in a lot of information, you know, traffic and advertising and uh, a lot of people around. So you really got this small window of opportunity to catch someone's attention. So um, the sort of current work that we're doing is just two colours, you know, maybe like a red background, white type, very simple, clean topography, and you know, scale is everything, so nice and large, same you're alive, because you just want to capture that person in that moment, and the messages will be sort of quite open, and it's a, that person can take what they want from it. So if I can go and write a message on a wall, and people can take good from that, and then empowers them, and they can, you know, almost if you can change someone's attitude a little bit, like that, I find that very powerful. And so just with the live and love, it's, it's almost like that little hippie heart that I have, but it's, it's two words that I live by, you know.